Which is interesting as this is actually a kickboxing bout. So he won't be able to utilize what, what his core base seems to be, but, but credit to uh, Stregario. Ladies and gentlemen, RXF presents three five minute rounds of kickboxing in this light heavyweight bout. Introducing first in the blue corner, fighting out of Bucharest, Romania, weighing in at 89 kilograms with a record of 18 fights, 10 wins and eight losses. Julian Strugario! Across the cage, his opponent stands in the red corner, fighting out of Luton, UK. Weighing in at 93 kilograms with a professional record of 85 fights, 74 wins and 9 losses. Andrew Tate! Our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Catalan Atzalia. Not the rules, no elbow, only one knee in the clinch. When I say break, you break. Go back to your corners. And to the more eagle-eyed viewers, you may be seeing that these gentlemen are wearing four-ounce mixed martial arts gloves. Ready. So you're looking at Hi. K1 style kickboxing and MMA gloves. And that's a recipe for action and violence, Sebastian. Absolutely. And another variable to be added on to it. Very good, strong leading kicks there from Tate to start off a fight. And you can see just how you can see the experience of Tate, just how calm he is there, pulling out that jab, doesn't flinch on. Oh, that's oh, a thunderous yeah. leg kick. Devastating leg kick, really buckled. Oh, oh head kick. And a head kick. Huge. What? Takes his time, not charging in. Oh, he dropped him, standing eight count coming. Momentarily in a mixed martial arts fight, I was going to call for some grounding point there. I had to restrain <laughs> yeah. myself. Old habits die hard. He's getting and Tate just looking fantastic, looking calm, cool, collected. Almost stalking. I think what we could see here is if Stregario can't answer the call, this fight may be called. He's a little unsteady on his feet, and that's it, the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee stopped the action after only 49 seconds of the very first round. And the winner, by way of TKO, in the red corner, Andrew Tate! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by a victorious Andrew Tate. First off, congratulations on an emphatic win here tonight, sir. Thank you very much, thank you. And what does it mean for you to get another win? Does, does it still have as much excitement for you, having clocked up a near insurmountable amount of experience on wins in combat sports? Uh, I think it does because I, I'm officially retired and I'm kind of coming back. I've, for two years, I've done nothing but smoke cigars and drink vodka. So <laughs> it's good to see I still have it, you know. So what was the pull that brought you back in? By the signs of it, you were having a great time retired. What was the hook that made you want to get back in there and compete? That's a good question. I think fighters fight. It's something mm -hmm. inside of you. And, and even this fight, I only took a couple weeks notice. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to jump in there and I kind of wish it went on longer, but you can only fight the person they put in front of you. So all you can do is punch them and kick them. So that's, that's what you have to do. It looked like you were having a lot of fun in there. You were switching stances. You almost went into a, like a, a Kung Fu style at one stage. Did you feel like you were in that kind of flow state from the get go? Yeah, I've fought a lot of different styles. I fought K1, I fought Muay Thai, I fought Taekwondo, I fought Karate, I fought points fighting. I fought so many styles, I kind of have mixed it all together. So that's just kind of how I fight now. Um, I don't know why, I don't know where it comes from, it's just kind of <laughs> what happens. And I guess the big question for everyone here and everyone listening is, what's next for you? Is it another kickboxing bout? Uh, is it back to mixed martial arts? What would you like to do, sir? That's a good question. Now I'm going to go drinking, and then after that, I'm going to have a serious conversation with perhaps some of the old people I used to fight for, along with RX Safra, used to fight for Glory and some mm -hmm. other big boys, and maybe maybe I'll be back in the top five in the world again. Well, you never you never know. I'm only 33. I'm not, I'm not that old, so we'll see. Still a young man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Mr. Andrew Chait. I'll see you at the bar, sir. Thank you.